CataractCoach.com, refractive lens exchange surgery for hyperopia. One of the big challenges is creating that capsular rexus. Remember, these are small hyperopic eyes, shallow anterior chamber. And this anterior lens capsule is very curved, so we put a lot of viscoelastic in order to flatten it. Without OVD, the lens capsule is dome-shaped. But by injecting that dispersive viscoelastic, we can flatten the anterior lens capsule. That's very important to be able to create the capsulorexis. So now for capsulorexis creation, we'll measure out and get that five millimeter ID in our mind, visualize that, then we'll start the rexus, but look how we still lose some viscoelastic out of the main incision. And as we do the capsulorexis, it has a tendency to want to run outward. So we have to constantly be vigilant about bringing that capsule tear inward to achieve that round five millimeter or 5.5 millimeter capsule rexus. So look at the angle which we're using the forceps now. It wants to run out, but we're gonna bring it back. And we're able to successfully create this nice five millimeter rexus. There it is measured, beautiful. Now the lens is relatively soft here. This patient's highly hyperopic and the patient's presbyopic as well. But there's really not any cataract. So we're doing an early uh, lens exchange surgery, if you will, in order to treat a refractive error. So hence, refractive lens exchange. It's essentially just doing cataract surgery on someone prior to developing a visually significant cataract. Now, if you look at the lens nucleus there, there is some opacity in it. It's not perfectly clear, but this is not visually significant. So this patient with the highly hyperopic correction was able to achieve sharp distance vision and then with an additional add, was able to have the near vision. But this patient really wanted the freedom from the glasses, particularly for doing sports. And this patient didn't tolerate contact lenses well. So we quickly remove all the lens nucleus. That comes out pretty easily. We were very careful there to keep the chopper in that safe position. Now for the lens calculations, we want to make sure we're going to hit our target. And that's going to be a Plano outcome. So we do our lens calculations, and we see that it's a 34 diopter lens in each eye. And that's using IOLcalc.com. So here's the 34 diopter lens. This is an Alcon Panoptics lens, a trifocal lens. And this is going to give the patient a full range of great acuity without having to wear glasses. Now, there are a couple important trade-offs that we have to understand. First, this patient who's used to wearing highly hyperopic spectacles or glasses, that gives a little bit of image ma magnification. So when we put the power of the refracting surface inside the eye in that IOL, you're gonna lose that image magnification. Things are gonna be normal size, but the patient may not be used to that. So that's important to explain ahead of time. Second thing is we are taking out a lens that was clear and replacing it with a diffractive trifocal lens. So this lens does give a very wide range of vision from near to intermediate to far, but it does it at the expense of a little bit of contrast. So contrast will be a little less, and also these rings will cause nighttime halo and glare around lights. Now these, for the patient, are acceptable and relatively minor issues. And I can tell you, in the post-op period, this patient was absolutely thrilled. So there's the new lens in the eye. We're going to seal up our incisions here. And let's make sure that the IOL is well-centered in the patient's visual axis. We're going to line up those Purkinje images with the central zone of the IOL. And let's make sure that optic is securely placed behind the capsular rexus. So more BSS on a cannula being placed inside the anterior chamber, sweeping around, removing any viscoelastic. Let's get that lens beautifully centered. Look at the Purkinje images. That looks great. So I encourage you, explore this technique for the appropriate patients. And remember to check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much more material than just these YouTube videos. You check it out. Subscribe to our free daily email. I promise you'll learn a lot. Thanks for watching.